the default settings for the Draftsman Editor that will be applied to any newly created document are located in the Preferences System Settings window. In the upper part of the window, you can select Units of Measurement. In the drop-down menu, all primitives are divided into several groups. When you select a row in the left column, the element parameters are displayed in the right column. The set of parameters is different for each primitive. These settings can be saved as a local file or on the server. This file is then loaded with the load command. You can also import settings from previous versions of Altium Designer. After creating the first sheet of the document, the Properties panel displays the page settings. If there are multiple sheets in the document, select which of the sheets the changed options will be applied to in the Page Options tab. The General section provides settings for the size and visibility of the grid, a set of bindings to various elements, font settings for the entire document, color display of borders and the sheet itself as well as settings for displaying components that are not present on the printed circuit board if it has several versions. These components can be hidden, covered by NC31 or NC37 shading or filled in. The source section includes information about the source of drawing creation, in example the PCB document from which information is requested for creating a particular type. If there are several variants, select the one you need to create a view from the Variants drop-down menu. In the Scale menu, you can set the scale at which the view will be built. The Style Line section lists a set of preset lines, each of which can be adjusted or created using the Add button. In the Value column, the numeric string indicates the length of the segments and the length of the gaps between them. There is no digital display for a solid line. The next characteristic of the line is its thickness. The conditional names of the thicknesses remain unchanged and the thickness value itself can be changed. The reset command returns the changed values to the default values. The unit section consists of several drop-down menus that define primary and secondary units of measurement the decimal separator and the number of decimal places for values and tolerances.